down here. How many dollars you got, man? Uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> nine <laughs> probably got about be 20 or so by the time everybody gets loaded up. Thank you. You gonna go chase a pig? Hmm? You gonna chase a pig? Hey, what? Okay. You ain't scared, are you, but come here, come here, come here. Look at that. You ain't, you ready to go, ain't you? <laughs> and there's a whole bunch more dogs over here. Y'all ready? Does that hurt? Yeah. He's can dry. She's ready. Do they each know their names? Mm, Somewhat. I think they do, but <laughs> I think it's more my tone sometimes. Okay. Get back, Jax. We dogged out with it. There's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, before this video ever gets going, just listen. This is a hunting video, a hunting and a killing video of wild hogs. These guys use dogs. They usually send, ride, try to find some tracks, stuff like that. Send out a couple of chase dogs to try to track the hog and find it. They find the hog. They get it kind of bayed, and once they do get the hog bayed, and they, these guys know when the hog's bayed, they can see it on their GPSs. All the dogs are wearing tracking collars, stuff like that. They can see it on their GPSs. They can also hear by the tone of their bark. And then once the dogs bay, then, then they turn them loose to catch dogs, and the, that catch dogs go in there, catch the hog, and then we come in there and finish the job off. Uh, don't shoot any guns or anything like that to kill them because there's so many dogs around you just can't and then there's people it's just not safe so end up just cutting the hog with a knife and, and killing it. it's really quick really quick and fast but here's a reason why we have to control these hogs and these guys do what they do In 2015 there was a 1.5 billion with a B dollars of damage from hogs. They eat anything. They eat pine saplings, uh, they eat baby fawns, baby calves, any kind of crop like corn, soybeans, anything that they can root, uh, trees, acorns, anything like that. The problem is, is that they eat so much. They can eat as much as 10 pounds per day in a mature hog can. So they're constantly rooting and digging and eating, and they can they can take an entire uh, farm field and just annihilate that thing just in a matter of no time if there's a lot of hogs there. Then on the fields that they're in and they're rooting on them, they just destroy the field. It's nearly impossible to get on it with a tractor then because it's so rooted up. The hogs breed really quick. They have a litter of two to three times a year, and usually four four piglets out of a litter, litter survive to make it to adulthood so you can imagine that once they get in the area and they start going they just explode 
So here in Mississippi and Alabama, we can kill pigs 24 hours a day, seven days a week with anything, with, with guns at night, spotlighting, it, it doesn't matter. You can shoot them 24 seven. The dogs that are used here are black mouth curs. And these dogs are trained to do this. You'll see this one dog that's in a video that's got a scar on his, above his eye up there. His name's Ralph. Ralph's two years old. And old Ralph, he's a, he's a bad boy. He's a catch dog. And you can see them dogs when the other dog, the chase dogs are out there chasing the pigs. They would be just so focused on listening to those chase dogs, what they were doing. And they were just like, just let me go, let me go. These dogs, I don't know, probably weighed 50, 60 pounds a piece or so. Some of them may have been a little bit bigger than that. But the power of these dogs was unreal. They just about would pull you down like when you were leading them, leading them in there on a leash or anything. And when you turn them loose, their focus was to get to the chase dogs to help their buddies out is what they were doing. They get in there and get it done, get the dog, get the hog hell for us to get in there and get to them. And you'll see that on the video. And we ended up killing four pigs. There's three on video that you're going to get to see in this video. So if you like action and you like that kind of stuff, just continue on watching. So if there's anybody in the, in the uh, West Alabama, East Mississippi line right here uh, that has a hog problem, and you can see on the video how this stuff works. Uh, you can contact me uh, through my email, cottontop 3 at yahoo.com. I'll get you in touch with these guys. That's what these guys do is, is go after hogs and, and, uh, and take them out and everything like that. And that's what they enjoy doing. They have a lot of dogs. We had about 20 dogs uh, with us during the entire day. And we changed dogs in and out. But... To watch the dogs was just really, really cool. And so I hope y'all enjoy this.
Now you're ready to go again, aren't you? Thank you, man. They go on after him. <laughs> Dogs going everywhere. Oh yeah. Dog oh, got some power. Take his leash and give me that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a big pig. Big one. There's your lead right there, man. All right, just hang on to the truck once we get him back. Bait it again.
So I'm just gonna finish this video off. Those pigs are nothing more than a goat on steroids is all they are. I mean, they just eat up and tear up everything. If you're watching the video, you'll see some of the places we were riding through where they done rooted it up so bad. But I hope you enjoyed this. I think you're gonna to get to see some more of this kind of stuff coming up in the chase type stuff and things like that. Be um, very interesting. I know I had a good time. I had a lot of fun uh, with Jason and all of them. And like I said, y'all will probably see some more of that stuff. So hope y'all enjoyed. Later, taters.